morning, D.Y. Let's begin today as always in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we've been doing retreats here in the morning with all the students who do religion. And I had them journal. You know, journaling is a great practice for getting your thoughts together. And one of the questions they journal on at the end, they say, what did you learn from this retreat? So here's what a student wrote recently. And the theme of the retreat, it's about happiness. I learned about happiness. When this pandemic started, I was happy and full of energy. However, now I feel tired, stressed, and sad. I only do assignments and sleep. The interesting thing is that no matter how long I sleep, I always feel tired and sad. This retreat has taught me that happiness does not fall from the sky, but it's in my hands. Instead of waiting for the pandemic to end, I had to make a decision to be happy and find ways to make myself happy, even in these difficult times. Well, you know, it's uh, powerful to read that. I mean, first of all, I just, I pray for the people who are struggling with this. I always feel tired and sad. May the Holy Spirit enlighten you, inspire you, but you know, the other part of this is uh, really powerful as well. I learned that happiness does not fall from the sky, but it's in my hands. I had to do things, find ways to make myself happy. Do you know, one of the temptations in the desert, so we're in Lent, it's all about Jesus in the desert. What did he battle with? And we all battle with, this is all of us. One of them, the angel said, takes him to a high peak and says, jump, for the scripture says the angels will take care of you. And Jesus says, no, no, that's no way to think. Scripture also says, do not put the Lord your God to the test. But this idea that God will take care of it, it leads to so much irresponsibility. Of course, we put our lives in God's hands. We recognize everything is from God and going back to God. But we also have the gift of freedom. Our lives are in our hands, our own happiness, our own. You know, I find that people who are the most irresponsible people a lot of times make excuses and use religion as an excuse for doing the worst kinds of things. And it's a fundamental. You know, when we look at the three temptations, these are the three fundamentals. What life is to be about, what it's not to be about. It's not to be about power, and all injustice is about an abuse of power. It's not to be about money and greed. And this one, this is a fundamental too. My life, my joy, my love. We had a speaker a few years ago, I think I've said this before. He said, don't seek to be happy, seek to be holy. Live love, live goodness, seek to be whole. Take care of yourself, body, mind, spirit, emotions, exercise, do everything, and I mean really give it your all. Have you seen these ads about, uh, you know, some things are not meant to be done halfway? Look at that crucifix behind me. That's what it's all about. It's about giving your all. When you exercise, bust a sweat, give it your all. When you do your schoolwork, give it your all. No matter what you're doing, your relationships, your family, your prayer life. You know, the Pope has said, when you go through a crisis, you don't come out the same. You come out better or worse, but never the same. So let us pray. Gracious and loving God, I pray for all people who are struggling at this time in so many ways. And we pray that we may find the grace, the wisdom to realize that our lives are in our hands to live our very best lives. Almighty God, bless us all today in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Margaret DeVille, pray for us.